everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you November's eBay sales. Uh, you can see what I sold. You're about to see clips of everything and some little background info. And then at the end, I'm going to come back and give you a little more details, um, some actual statistics of what I sold and what I listed, the profit I made, and so on and so forth. So here are the clips. These are two CDs by Felix, Phillips, Craig, and Dean. They are um, pre-owned, but in good condition. And these I sold for $8.85 together. And then also I have this Lash Paradise in Dark Navy, which I sold for $9.35. This is book one and two from the Coupler Ring series by Rosanna White. And I sold these for $10. They are pre-owned, but in good condition. What we have here is two CoverGirl lipsticks in um, a metallic 505 flushed shade. These I got from um, that those boxes of CoverGirl cosmetics that ended up being like 19 cents each. So I sold these for $9.75. And then also, this is a used CD, music from Little House on the Prairie, The Arkansas Traveler. This is pre-owned, but it is in very nice condition. It's kind of rare. And here you can see the different songs that were on it there. And this I sold for $17. This is a vintage hand-painted um, wall plaque. Um, it has a scripture from Deuteronomy, some beautiful flowers, um, the, the harnessing isn't fantastic, but it was all noted and photographed. I picked this up, I think, for a dollar, maybe a dollar ninety-nine. It's been a while, I've had it a while, but I sold this for twenty-eight ninety-nine. These are super cool. So these are very old pictures from Antietam Battlefield, uh, which is in Maryland, Sharpsburg. And you can see here it says the Maryland Monument on the Antietam Battlefield. And these, um, really unique story how I got these. I was at a thrift store and they had um, some old photographs in some bundles. I think there was three bundles. And I've never bought them. I've never purchased these old cabinet cards before. Um, they had some of those photos on the tin. <clears throat> I'm not a, I am definitely not a photograph expert or, you know, I do not really have knowledge. But anyways, the first picture they were wrapped up in plastic. You couldn't see what photos you were getting. They were cheap enough. I spent, I think I spent $7 on the whole bunch of all of them. And I probably got over a hundred different cabinet cards. And this is the Massachusetts Monument. And um, anyways, the, the first picture in one of these cards was just so neat for the time period. It was a lady in her beautiful dress and standing in front of a table and there were all these puppies and a bowl of milk and it was just it was just such a cool picture um and so I bought them well inside of these packages were all kinds of amazing photos from the early 1900s I don't know exactly when but um these were in there these three photos from Antietam Battlefield and I have sold these. I have sold some other photos um, from that bunch already um, a while back. But so these I sold for $75.99. These are Pure Z's by Vix. Two boxes of these. And um, I got these out of the boxes from Wholesale Ninjas. These I sold for $12.89. So we have Urban Hydration Rose Hip Hand Cream and Rose Hip Body Cream. The hand cream is a four ounce, and the body cream 
it's a fairly large 16.9 fluid ounces so these i sold for 19 dollars and then also nervive nerve relief pm 30 tablets and i sold this for 13.25 this is a lot of five Annie's Attic Mystery books. And these I sold for $19.55. They are in very nice shape, a little bit of cover wear, but um, they all have their ribbon still in them there. All hardcover. So $19.95, I'm sorry, $19.55. These are three of the Lady Elizabeth Pillow Shams by Charles Craft. I had never seen these before, but I picked these up at the uh, Fabric Fair, the most recent one, and I do have some videos on those if that interests you. But anyways, just listed these, just sold them. Um, so I sold these for $29.99, and I paid a dollar a piece. Wasn't sure what to list these for. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot out there for sale but they went quickly and i'm happy you know i made made money on those also this is from the fabric fair i just listed this and sold it very quickly as well i think there was one other of these out there but i i put my price um a little lower than theirs uh, but i paid 50 cents for these this is like a quilting thread um and i sold this for 16 dollars then we also have three dream radiant liquid foundations in shade 80 cashew by maybelline and these i sold for 13 20. and then we have streams in the desert by ms chas e cowman this is from 1950 is the copyright on it um, it is rare does have a good bit of wear to it but it is it's rare so that that changes things and this i sold for 18.99 and then i have these facial creams which um i've got out of a box from wholesale ninja and i sold the four of these for 19.99 this is a large rare book it's called war without heroes very big and i sold this for 41.55 and we have this hat that i crocheted um i have a few of these for sale and it was they're so fun to make um this one kind of has a rainbow pattern it's a toddler size so anywhere from probably two to five maybe even one uh, this would fit and this hat i sold for 19 dollars. these are ceramic little salt and pepper bunny um easter themed salt and pepper shakers um and there's a set of two we have the yellow and the pink and these i sold for 39.99 and they're super cute. Also, have this Garnier Skin Active Smoothing 3 in 1 Moisturizer. Um, and this, this came out of one of those um, boxes from Wholesale Ninjas. And this I sold for $10.50. Here we have 10 of these Bio Electro. Uh, this is a pain reliever, extra strength. I've never heard of this before I got it in my last two boxes from Wholesale Ninjas. Um, I am taking a loss on these. They expire this month. And so I just uh, lumped together what new ones I got with what old ones I had and just made the price really low uh, to sell them. So I sold all of these for $10. Then... I also have this um, concealer. Now, I don't know how you say this brand name, but I know that it's popular. Um, this also was in one of my boxes, and I sold this for 
This is the bungalow, or no, I'm sorry, the burrow. Um, it's a Harry Potter 3D type of model. model. Gosh, I can't talk. Um, I picked this up as it is at a thrift store. Um, no packaging. Never opened, though. No instructions, unless they are inside. I do not know. I didn't take the shrimp wrap. Shrimp. <laughs> oh my goodness, it continues. Shrink wrap off. Um, but I think I only paid like a dollar. And um, I sold this for $26.99. This is a book called The Meal That Heals by Perry Stone. It's a new hardcover. And I sold this for $12.95. So this is a partial set to a series. Uh, these books are called David and I Talk to God. And these are actually ex-library books that they have a good bit of wear. Um, they have cover wear. They just have a lot of wear. They're very rare. Um, hard to come by. So I have seven of these and um, I came across these at a Christian book sale and it was the last day and it was fill a bag of a bag for four or five dollars and I picked these up. Um, and so I sold the set of these all seven together for $30. So I keep trying to remember where I picked this up at and I, I have no idea. I think my son might have had it and was getting rid of it and I don't know where he came across it. Um, but I sold this for $9.99. It's a very old um, Nautilus book, instructional book. I uh, is used does have some wear but it still has lots of life left in it this is called pearl cotton by dmc i got this in a big bag of just random um, embroidery floss and things and there are 39 new skeins and then i have some extras which are kind of open i just threw in and i sold this for 48.99 i also have this um, it's a counter cross stitch with ribbon embroidery, and it's a customizable two shall become one um, piece. Turns into a 10 by 10. New kit. I sold this for $20. And then we have this Echoes of Scripture in the Letters of Paul uh, by Richard B. Hayes. And this I had listed for $20.15. And someone asked me a question about it, and then they asked me if I would take 18 and I said sure. And so I sold this for $18. This is an antique book, Beginner's French, by Victor E. Franquez. Franquez? Franquez? I'm not sure. 1903 is the publishing date on this. So it does have wear. But also still has life to it. And this I sold for $24. And then this is just a NYX eyeliner, waterproof, in shade brunette. And this I sold for $8.79. Oh no, it's a brow pencil. Excuse me. Yes, a brow pencil. So what we have here are two, well, there's four that you can see, but the listing originally was two packs of these Blossom mascara, colored mascara and lip glosses. And I just got these in my, one of my Wholesale Ninja boxes that I recently bought. And um, so I was selling these a set of two for $12.75 and I sold, I had two sets of them for sale and I sold both of them together. So they're going out all together, which is fantastic because it'll save me a good bit on shipping. 
And then I also have this little critter that I picked up somewhere. It's um, a little TI area, I think. And I sold this for $12.25. Oh, here we have some things from Wholesale Ninjas that sold. These are, I sold these all together as a lot. They're Listerine Ready Tabs. I had never heard of these. I have this experience when I get things from Wholesale Ninjas all the time. There's all sorts of things I didn't even know existed, but you, I guess, get a clean mouth feeling. Just chew these up. Swallow them. I don't know. Anyways, I sold the five of those for $15.99. And then this must be a more um, rare type of Revlon. It is um, vegan clean and vegan so maybe that has something to do with it maybe the shade was discontinued I have no idea but um this I sold for $29.99 so more than your typical box of hair color would go for this is a 1957 hardcover just so stories um kind of rare not in the best of shape but it still has a ton of life left in it uh, this I sold for $12.75. Let's see if there's a name inside the front cover. I can't remember. There is some writing. But neat book. Structurally very good. So anyways, $12.75 for that. This is a three book hardcover set um, called Exploring Christian Holiness. And there are all three volumes here. Um, this is also a little a little rare. I sold the set of these for $75. This is by LA Colors. It's called The 12 Days of Beauty. It's kind of like an advent sort of thing, but it tells you exactly what's in it. <laughs> so that's kind of kind of removes some of the element of surprise, but still a fun little fun little gift. Um, fun little item. And this I sold for $12. Oh, this was also from Wholesale Ninjas. This is a beautiful hand embroidered pillowcase, vintage, um, with a bride and flowers. And this I sold for $15.35. This is a Gleam, well actually it's two Gleam replacement brush heads. Uh, also got this from a Wholesale Ninja box. I have actually sold a replica of this before. But this I sold for, I believe it was $8.29. This is a lot of four packages of Dritz heavy duty snaps and also a heavy duty snap attacher. I got these at one of the fabric fairs that I have videos on. If that's something that interests you, sold a few things from um, those sales here recently. Um, but I sold the four of these for $15. This is a used CD, Days of Elijah. Um, it's kind of remarkable the amount of CDs that I sell. I, I don't have a ton of them listed, but they do sell. A lot of times I get them for free or very, very cheap. And this I sold for $9.55. I also have three... Maybelline Foundations Dream Radiant Liquid in shade Nude, and these I sold for $15.75. Uh, those were out of a Wholesale Ninjas box, and these were also out of the Wholesale Ninja box. Um, it is a lavender essential oil aromatherapy, and I just sold these together for $20.99. Now these I actually see for sale often. I don't know if it's a local thing. I'm kind of wondering if they're like a vintage home interior um, piece. I'm not sure. I've never seen a label on them, um, but I have seen these with different uh, matting and maybe different color with the birds. I've also seen them severely sun faded. Um, but anyways, I picked these ones up. They're in pretty good shape. I mean, it is a cute 
print and the pink and the, the green is just really one of my favorite color combinations. Um, but I picked these up pretty cheap. I think they were $2 a piece. I have had them listed a while, but I did finally sell them for $42.99. So these I have had a while, um, at least a year, I would say for sure. And these are pasta kits. There's two. This one makes angel hair and however you say that, like, I don't know how you say that, but it makes that shape. I've seen it, just don't know how you say it. And they're, they're to be used with the Philips pasta maker. And then there's also this noodle maker, which makes a, I guess a, a wide flat noodle that you can make lasagna with or other things with. Um, also to use with this Philips pasta maker and I have been interested in making pasta and so I was torn about keeping these or selling these and um anyways I ended up listing them and I sold them for $98.50 bought these used I think I spent six dollars for the two of them total um, and they are going to New Zealand this is a lot of five cover girl lipsticks in shade 510 call me and this is um the metallic exhibitionist lipstick and these are apparently extremely rare and popular so i don't know if you've seen my video but i have a video from a little while back from wholesale ninjas <clears throat> where i bought some cover girl boxes of 100 pieces and they ended up being, I think, 17 cents per item in those boxes. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, but anyways, these were in those boxes. Okay, so you're not going to believe how much I sold these for. I'm like super excited about this sale. So I sold the five of these all together for $175. $175. Super exciting. On that one there. They're going to Florida. This I've had listed for quite a while. This is a vintage uh, Tupperware Tupper Toys. It's called Link A Lot. And it's a uh, just a plastic chain toy. It makes different shapes. Um, and I sold this for $21.99. And we have a deep hydration lotion. Uh, this also came in a Wholesale Ninja box. And this I sold for $9.89. So here we have five skeins of this Red Heart Boutique Magical Yarn. These are all the same shade and all from the same lot. Um, it's called Fortune Teller. And they're really neat. They kind of change change um, yarn as you crochet. But I still got these at the Fabric Fair, um, which I'm going to try to link that video. And they were in a bag with six skeins total um, for $6. So these were a dollar a piece. Uh, the other skein that was in that bag was a different colorway. So I have that listed separately. So there's that. This was from the Wholesale Ninjas box. I sold this for $10.25. It is a brow gel mascara in shade Tape. Taupe, sorry. And this is a set of three Nature's Way Zinc Gummies, uh, also from Wholesale Ninjas, not sure when, but I sold the set of three of these for $21.99. All right, welcome back. I had to apologize for this disaster behind me. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous eBay video or not. I think I've mentioned it in other videos, but uh, this teeny tiny little office that I use, um, I used to homeschool the kids. I use it to do eBay, <laughs> I use it to do YouTube stuff, I use it to do real estate stuff and just home, I mean everything. And it's, um, we've outgrown it. We have a new room that's being finished, it's almost done above our garage. And um, I have a video coming about that, like the, the phases of it and uh, what it looks like. I'm super excited to move out of here and actually we were supposed to have been moved out of here like three months ago now <laughs> so i started packing back like you know three months and a week ago 
uh, just to be prepared. And so I've got boxes of things packed and I've got, it's a disaster. It's not good. It's really bad. So that, I'm sorry, it looks horrible, but you know what? It's, that's, it's reality. That's what, that's what it is like in here right now. Anyways, so what you just saw was everything I sold in the month of November. I did have a return in November. I don't know if you saw that embroidery thread, um, size number three. Someone bought it. They thought it was size five. I don't know. It said size three, but they made a mistake. And so they returned it. So I'm not a super huge fan of returns. Um, I do offer free returns. So I had to pay for the shipping back on that, which is unfortunate. So that, um, you know, came off of my profit. I had to pay to ship it there. I paid to ship it back. Um, wasn't really my fault, but it is, it is what it is. So I took, I took a little hit on that. Um, you all so would have seen, um, there was like a pain reliever, a big, um, lot of pain relievers. I sold them really cheap because they were going to expire. I actually had a loss on those. Um, I lost like a dollar and something on those. Um, so with the return taken into account and with the losses taken into account, I, I had 51 sales and profit after eBay fees, after my costs, after shipping, I had a profit of $704.98. So pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, November things kind of pick up. It seems like, you know, with Christmas shopping, that works out to a profit of thirteen eighty one per item, so that's higher than my average. Um, well, October my average was twelve twenty four, not so bad. September my average was eight twenty seven. Uh, I don't have it written down for what August was, but a little higher. I did have some higher price sales, like you saw. Uh, had that awesome sale at the lipstick. Oh, that was fantastic. Um, also what something that I thought was worth mentioning is that 55 items. So, um, I had 51 total sales, but a lot of my sales included multiple items. So 55 items were from Wholesale Ninja. Um, so it was a good month for those. Another thing worth noting is that I was away for 11 days, um, between November and December. So, um, that could have impacted my sales a little bit. When I go away, I set up my store that people can purchase. It just tells them that I won't be mailing it until uh, when I'm back. So people may have saw that, you know, and you know, it could have impacted my sales. Maybe not, but, uh, worth noting, I think. Now I've mentioned before that I'm trying to get to 2000 listings. 2000 active listings right now at this current moment, I have 1,275 and I'm doing pitifully. I can't to 2000 the last few months I've listed just hardly anything. Uh, try as I might I'm just not doing so hot. Uh, in November, I listed 46 items. Probably if I'd have listed more, I might've had more sales. I've seen a collation between those, uh, in the past. Uh, but you know, I'm pleased with the month, pleased with the sales. Um, a couple things this month cost me nothing. And I made, I made money on, and that I think is really exciting. Things that were garbage. Um, I made money on. That's awesome. Really exciting. It saves things from the dump and it gets them to the people who wanted them. And you know, I, I think that's neat. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my other months, see what else I sold and talk to me in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you soon.